what is going on guys? Welcome back to the Warzone 2 video for you guys in the channel. Today we're going to my favorite top 5 meta SMG loadouts in Warzone 2 Season 5 right now. Man, listen, SMGs of Warzone 2 of Season 5 are actually pretty overpowered over other weapons because I feel like the mobility is so good right now, allowing us to be breaking cameras and breaking ankles and let's just say it's been a really good fun time on Warzone. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel with notifications turned on, make sure to do so so you guys never miss a banger class setup and upload on the channel. Listen, we're on the grind to 10,000 subscribers. I cannot wait. We're locking in every single day. So guys, we go live on Twitch every single day. Wani FPS. Listen, guys, hey, listen. You guys have been killing all the love on the Twitch channel and the YouTube. I'm going to say thank you, guys. We are approaching 300 followers on the Twitch and 10,000 on the YouTube. Hey, I couldn't thank you guys even more. Enjoy today's video. I'll catch y'all later. Peace. So now though in the morning fam, we got the MP5 man, all reliable, one of my favorite SMGs be running in Warzone 2 right now. Listen, I know they did like decrease a lot of the damage this season with this weapon, but it's still kicking as good as it's ever been. So let's go ahead and have the load number one. Starting on the first hatch here, we got the Lockshot KT-85 muzzle. Listen, so we're not running an under barrel on this MP5. And since it's a movement build, you're going to want this so you can control that vertical and horizontal recoil control that you might encounter in Warzone. Guys, come with the next tunings for this one. Make sure to put the recoil rotation to a 0.80. Put that recoil control to a 0.35. All it's going to do is maximize that recoil control. Handling does go down a tad bit. There's going to be other attachments that literally bring that straight back. Guys, come to the next attachment. We've got the L38 Falcon 226mm barrel. This going to increase movement speed in NES times as well with this SMG. And since this gun is very, very fast, listen, this Falcon barrel is one of my favorites even over the sub 12 guys for the two things for this make sure to put the recoil state in this to a 0.32 make sure to put your damage range to 0.40 guys for our next hatch we got the vlk lzr 7mw laser this is my favorite laser for every smg in this game practically a lot of the weapons because not only do you get fast ads times aiming stability but you also get really fast sprint to fire time speeds which means they're gonna be insanely accurate at all ranges with this mp5 guys now for the two days for this i think it's crucial that you max out sprint to fire time speeds and ads times as well listen since this you know laser it's only gonna give you the green and the graph so it's only gonna be basically make your gun better you're not gonna have any cons with this gun at all guys now for the next attachment we got the lm stockless mod now this is actually the best attachment for getting the best mobility now what this means is that you're gonna have no stock on your mp5 Pretty much your accuracy and recoil controls can go down a tad bit, but trust me, you're not gonna notice at all. You're gonna be beaming kids, you're gonna be running around breaking cameras with this MP5. Guys, for our last tattoo, we've got the 40 round mag for this MP5. I just like to actually put this on over the 50 round drum. 50 round drum makes you a little bit too slow in this game, and having 40 rounds is perfect. Guys, this is my MP5 class setup in Season 5 of Warzone 2 right now. Listen, this gun's heavily slept on still. It's definitely still one of my favorites to use in the game right now. But hey, listen, comment down below what you guys think about this class setup. Let's go on to the next one. Come on in, load number two, guys. We got the Vaznev 9K. Listen, I know a lot of this SMG's been passed down because a lot of people have been, you know, thinking it's not as good as it used to be. But let me tell you what, this still has some of the best mobility to date with all SMGs of Warzone 2. Probably my favorite to use and the most satisfying YY in the game. Let's go ahead and hop into this load, you guys. Guys, coming with the first attachment, we got the 9mm frangible inflicting wound effect rounds. What these are going to do is pretty much inflict like a, uh, a weird damage pattern on your enemy. Pretty much every time you shoot them with these bullets, they're going to keep dying every second. Now, for the tunings for this, max out damage range and bullet velocity. I like to max both of these out. I know you lose a little bit of accuracy and recoil control, but with other like attachments and other tunings, you're going to get those insanely, like increasingly back. Now, for the next attachment, we got the FSS Shark Fin 90 Under Barrel. This is going to be good for controlling that aiming idle stability and that recoil control. This thing's actually insanely accurate for an SMG. Now, for the tunings for this, we should have put the recoil stabilization to a 0.62 and put your aiming idle stability to 0.32 guys for the muzzle i'm gonna go with the spiral v3.5 flash hider now excuse me all it's gonna do is pretty much hide your bullets from like nobody's gonna know where you're shooting from and you're gonna get that good recoil control for the two days for this guys make sure to put the recoil smoothness to a 0.68 and make sure to put your gun kick control to a 0.30 guys for our next attachment we got the old trezad stock this is gonna actually increase your mobility and also make your aim walking speed faster pretty much means you're gonna be able to sprint very fast and get those quick straight speeds as well left to right guys for the two days for this one make sure to put the ads speed to a 2.97 and put that aim walking speed to a 1.86 guys for our last attachment on this vast Asnev 9K, we got the true tag grip. This is just some actually increased mobility because this gun has insane mobility speeds and ADS times as well. And this is just a crazy attachment to have on this gun. Now, for the tunings for this, I'm going to put the aiming, um, 
Aiming at downside speed to 0.94 and put the sprint to 5 times speed to 0.44, maxing out mobility purposes as well. Guys, this is my Vasiv 9K class setup in Warzone 2 Season 5. Like I said, this SMG is still really good and people need to keep using this. This is still one of my favorites. Let's go ahead and up to our next loadie. Coming in with loadie number 3, we got the No Tomorrow ISO 45 SMG. Listen, the ISO 45, in my opinion, has the best damage range and damage time to kill in Warzone right now. This thing's still literally a beast. Like, I don't know, they guess they buffed it with Season 5. I guess maybe they realized it was too, you know, it wasn't strong enough. But this thing is still insanely overpowered. All right, right now let's go to hop to this loadout guys coming up with the first attachment for the iso 45 we got this 45 round drum now this is actually kind of needed with this smg you only get 30 rounds in the default having that extra bit of rounds helps a lot while using this smg guys now for our next attachment we got the auto frangible rounds these are going to inflict a wounding effect on every enemy that you shoot with these bullets meaning that your time to kill is going to go up and be faster with the hit scan now for the tunings for this i like to max out damage range and bullet velocity and the reason for that is because you're gonna get the best damage range possible with your bullet velocity range going up as well you do lose some accuracy and recoil control but other attachments do help that out in the end guys for our next attachment we got the 16 inch xlb s barrel now i've been kind of experimenting with this class setup sometimes i like to run the 9 inch the 16 inch is sometimes better because it incorporates a suppressor but also you're gonna get that recoil control and bullet velocity and damage range which is gonna increase your hit scan and making your shots a lot more consistent with this smg now for the two nicks make sure to put the recoil stainless to a 0.34 and max out damage range as well if you can ever max out damage range it's gonna be with this weapon because this weapon is a beast Guys, for the next tattoo, we got the VLK LZR 7MW laser. This is going to actually incorporate and like, tie in this weapon a little bit more. It's going to increase that mobility and also help you be on target as well. Now, for the tunings for this, make sure to put the sprint to 5 times speed to a 0 0.50 and put that aiming idle stability, which is your aim down sight speed, my fault, to a 51.0. Guys, for our last tattoo, we got the Torrent Span 9 stock. Listen, this is going to help you control that recoil with this weapon. This weapon does like to kick from time to time, and just having this on helps a lot. Guys, this is my iso 45 build in warzone 2 season 5 right now listen this dlc weapon in warzone 1 was terrible but in warzone 2 it's actually really good so hey let's go on to our next loadie coming in load number four we got the fss hurricane the sleeper smg that's been slept on for so long in this game because you know there was a time where people didn't really like this weapon because it just it shot too slow didn't have enough damage but now it's still in our top five here because it's actually one of the best ones you can be using right now so let's go ahead and hop into this loadout, guys. Guys, for our first statue for this FSS Hurricane, we ended up going with the frangible rounds once again on this SMG, solely due to the fact that this gun does sometimes have a low damage count, but this is going to actually help you get those quick and easy kills, pretty much speeding up your TTK as if you're running an ISO 45. Now, for the tunings for this, max out damage range and bullet velocity along your hit scan to be a lot faster. Now, for the muzzle, we ended up going with the Bruin Podolum. This is pretty much going to help you control that vertical and horizontal recoil control. Now, since we don't have an underbarrel on this weapon, this actually can help a lot and it's kind of a crunch attachment now for the tunings for this one i put my recoil spiltation to a 0.57 and put the recoil control to 0.28 guys for our next attachment we got the fss cannon nade 16 inch barrel that's going to increase damage range and bullet velocity because this gun actually doesn't have a lot of like vertical recoil control so pretty much what we're doing with this barrel is maxing out that hit scan as well for medium gun engagements now for the tunings for this make sure to put the recoil stainless to a 0.42 and put your damage range to a 0.40 for our next attachment guys we got the fss only v laser now this is gonna like i said this is my favorite attachment of all smgs this helps with ads and aiming idle stability and sprint to fire time speeds now when it comes to tuning this one max out sprint to fire time speeds and max out ads speeds as you guys see our handling and accuracy is really good with this smg guys for our last attachment we're going with the ravage eight stock pretty much tying everything together it's gonna help you control that recoil control and aiming idle stability helping you actually lock on pretty well when going after enemies in this game now for the tunings for this one we actually maxed out ads speeds and ADS aiming idle stability reason for that is going to bring our accuracy a lot farther than what it used to be losing a little bit of mobility is not a huge issue because it's an smg guys this is my fss hurricane class setup in warzone 2 season 5 right now listen this weapon is still really good definitely was slept on for a while in season 4 but i'm really happy to see this gun actually getting recognized in this season so let's go to have the load number five guys coming at number five we got the vel 46 the mp salad one of my favorite smgs be running in warzone duly so do the fact that is the most ammo capacity and that's what i really like about this weapon because it actually comes in really hot and you know what 
I gotta say, when you compare it to some of the other SMGs, I, I don't think it's as strong as, like, the MP5 and, obviously, the ISO 45, but I definitely think it's definitely top tier because of the amount of ammo that you get with this weapon. Let's go ahead and hop to this loadie. Guys, so the first stat here, we got the 50-round mag with this Bell 46. Listen, I like having a little bit extra ammo with this MP7, MP salad, because you never know when you're gonna need it. For the underbarrel, guys, we're with the Cronin Groove Shot Grip. Now, what's it gonna do is help you with that hip fire control. I found that this hip fire build for this weapon actually helps a lot. Shooting from the hip and then ADSing seems to get you the best aim assist in this game. Now, for the tunings, I put the hip recoil control to a 0.62 and put the hip fire accuracy to a 0.32. Guys, for our next tag, we got the LM Series 7 barrel. Now, I like this one because it's gonna actually help you control recoil control. You are gonna lose a little bit of damage range, but with the tunings, you get it back and you're gonna get faster bullet reg with this weapon. Now, for the tunings, I maxed out damage range and I maxed out recoil steadiness. The reason for that is you're gonna get really good recoil control and damage range. I want to get the best damage range possible with this barrel. Guys, for the next stat we got the point G3 P04 laser. This is gonna increase that hip fire accuracy, allowing you to actually hip fire first and then you aim down sight and it's gonna get some pretty snappy aim assist. Now, for the tunings for this, we should've put the slide hip fire accuracy to a 0.34 and put the hip spread to a 39. 9.48 guys for the last attachment there's no other attachment to tie this weapon up with a demo rxt stock this is going to increase your crouch movement speed and your sprint speed and your ads speed allowing you to be super fast with this vel 46 now for the two names we ended up taking our aim down sight speed and putting that to a minus 4.0 and for our aim walking speed to a 2.40 Guys, this is my Vel 46 class setup in Warzone 2 Season 5 right now. Listen, like I said before, this SMG is still really good. It definitely does still kick a punch. But hey, listen, let's go ahead and get into our honorable mention, the last SMG that didn't make the top 5, but I had to include it on today's list. On with our honorable mention, we got the Fennec 45, the favorite favorite smg loadout from season three that everybody liked listen this gun is still pretty good in warzone season five right now definitely one of the sleeper smgs right now as well because a lot of people don't think to use this weapon but you have a lot of ammo capacity with this gun and a, a lot of like a very fast ttk and a fast firing rate so you can get those fast and easy kills all right let's go out to our last load you guys coming with the first touch you guys we got the fennec 45 round mag listen you need a lot of ammo with the Fennec. It shoots super fast, and you're going to need that. Coming up with the next attachment, guys, look at the FSS Sharkfin 90 Underbarrel. What it's going to do is help you control that vertical and horizontal recoil pattern that this, done, that this gun does have. Now, for the tunings for this, make sure to put the recoil stabilization to a 0.65 and put the aiming idle stability to a 0.34. Guys, for the muzzle, we got the X10 RR40 Silencer. Now, this is what it's going to do is increase the bullet rank and help you with that damage range, help you also control the recoil that this gun does possess. Now, for the tunings, I like to put the recoil smoothness to a 1.13 and put the bullet velocity to a 1.0. Guys, for the next statue, we wanted to kind of tie this up with the VLK LZR7 and W Laser. This is going to help you be really fast with this Fennec and allow you to stay on target. And for the tunings, of course, we like to max out sprint to fire time speeds and max out ADS speeds as well. This is going to help you out with this weapon as well. For the last attachment, guys, we've got the Slimline Pro. This is my favorite optic. You guys, from the ever optic you want, but the tunings are always going to be the same. Now, for the tunings, I like to max out ADS speeds and max out my far eye positioning. It's going to help you get the best possible aim assist and accuracy with this weapon. Guys, this is all my top five in honorable mention loadout in Warzone 2 Season 5 right now. Listen, SMGs are still really good in Warzone and much needed. So, hey, if you guys enjoyed today's video, drop a like and drop a comment. Shout out to my Naughty Man gang, man. Listen, we just hit 6,800 subs. We're on the way to 7,000. I just want to say I appreciate you guys. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.